Hello and welcome to the video run Spring Boot project in Eclipse. I am Nam Hamming from Code Java.net. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to open, configure, build, and run a Spring Boot application in Eclipse IDE for absolute beginners. I suppose that you have an existing Spring Boot project which you want to run, and you have installed these software programs on your computer, Java Development Kit. OpenJDK or Oracle JDK, Eclipse, IDE for Enterprise, Java Web Developers, and MySQL Database Server and MySQL Workbench. Here are the main steps for running a Spring Boot project in Eclipse. Firstly, you need to open or import an existing project and then check the Spring Boot configuration file. It is usually the application properties file for database connection properties, server config, such as context path and port number. And if the project requires a database, you need to create an empty database and import the SQL file. And build the project, it will automatically not set and file a main class that is annotated with the Spring Boot application annotation and run as Java application. Okay, let's start. So as you can see, I'm using Eclipse IDE version 202106 20, Eclipse IDE for Enterprise, Java, and Web Developers. And now let me uh, import an existing uh, project into Eclipse IDE. Go to Menu File, Import, and choose Existing Projects into Workspace here. Next, and I have an existing project under this directory. It is the Product Manager project. Click Finish. Okay, you see it is opening the product manager project, which is a Spring Boot application. And you can see this project using Maven build. You can see the pom.xml file here. This is a build file for Maven. You see it is a Spring Boot application. And you can see the Spring Boot starter parent here and the dependencies for Spring Boot, Data JPA, Tamlib, Web, DevTools, MySQL Connector, Java. And also, I have a SQL file which is um, for importing the database onto my computer, as you can see here. It is actually a text file that contains uh, SQL statements for creating uh, tables and inserting data. Okay. And you uh, can uh, expand the source directory here to view all the uh, Java classes here. And under main resources here, uh, look for the application.properties file here. This is a Spring Boot application configuration file. You can see this project uh, requires a MySQL database. And you can see the data source uh, properties URL username password here so you have to update the data source URL accordingly to the uh, MySQL database and you can see the database schema name is sales DB username root password password you need to update username and password accordingly to the uh, MySQL credentials and you can see no config for the server that means the default values uh, will be used now let me uh, uh, create this uh, database sales db and import data from this uh, sql file okay so switch to my sql workbench and uh, create a new database schema the name should be sales db uh, that uh, matches uh, to the uh, database name in the data source URL property here and click uh, apply apply to create a new uh, database schema and if she's a uh, new database it got created here sales DB and right click to set as default schema and you see there are no tables in this database and now let's import the data into this uh, database so uh, click server data import and choose import from cell content file and choose the sql file in my project
Mm, sorry. Project product manager and this is a, a SQL file and choose the default target schema sales DB. Okay and click start import. Okay, imported successfully and refresh the tables here and you can see the uh, tables and the data in this uh, database have been imported here and let me see data in the product table right click select rows and you can see some uh, data here some rows in this uh, product table okay now switch back to eclipse ide and in the project code here uh, find the main class the main class that is uh, annotated uh, with the Spring Boot application annotation here. So this is the main class uh, that uh, runs uh, the Spring Boot application. And you can see in the main method here, the statement uh, for running this application is uh, Spring application dot run here. And uh, check. Uh, go to the menu project and ensure that build automatically is checked here you may need to clean and review the project okay and then uh, to run this project uh, right click on the main class here run as java application And in the control view, you see it uh, is printing some logging information of the application here. That means uh, the Spring Boot application is uh, starting. You see the uh, Spring logo here. And look at the last lines, the last two lines here. Uh, Tomcat started on port number 8080. That means uh, uh, we can access uh, the web application in browser via the port number 8080. This is the default port number for a Spring Boot application, and the context part is empty. And the last line is started a product manager application. That means uh, the application is running successfully. Okay, and now open the web browser. I open Chrome and type http localhost and port number 8080 and you see uh, the product manager application home page appears and it displays uh, products you see here uh, the products in the table product in database here and i can see the second page third page and short the data by name by brand by made in, by price, ascending or descending. And to stop the application, uh, you can click the red button in the console view here. And you may want to make uh, changes, some changes to the project code. And you can uh, run the project again uh, by clicking the play button uh, in the menu toolbar here and click uh, product manager application this uh, run configuration is remembered by eclipse and it is starting uh, this uh, spring boot application again you see tomcat started on board ATAT contest path empty and now i can uh, refresh You see, I sort the list by product ID and view the second base, third base. Okay, perfect. And in the console view, you can see it uh, prints uh, SQL statements in a formatted manner. Here you see. And click this red button to stop uh, the application. Okay, so that's uh, basically how to open import. Uh, configure, build, and run a uh, Spring Boot application in Eclipse IDE. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.